No, I never thought that I would ever find myself this heartbroken ever in my life. I've been through hard days, so but this one is different. This one hits hard, bro. This time I think I could say my heart is really broke. Like, I think to a certain extent, I can even say that you broke me, bro. I've been heartbroken before, but not like this. I know I sound pissed, but this is not a diss. This is the only way I know how to keep it real. Let a nigga preach, let a nigga speak how it feels. Can't expect a nigga to bury his feelings. Still be strong to think straight. So I gotta be you, my phoenix, so be straight. You can tell me not to feel a thing. Those are the feelings I gotta embrace. Yo. Um, right now I'm in the process of healing. I'm in the process of picking myself up piece by piece. I'm putting myself back together. And the crazy thing about this is that I'm still willing to go back and work on that relationship, work on that relationship and fix what was broken in that relationship. I'll try to make it work. It's crazy because I'm the only one willing to do that. You know, I'm the only one willing to work on that relationship. Which makes me look like an idiot, you know, it makes me feel like I'm an idiot because I'm trying to work on something that you know, um, the other party is not interested in. Um, I'm alone in this thing. And it does make me one that question a lot of things. Um, maybe it's because I'm diluted by um, um, the fantasy that she is the one for me, you know. Maybe that is what has prompted me in the first place to try and fight for the relationship and maybe that is why a piece of me is still willing to work on that relationship um, and I know that she fucked up she made, a, she made mistakes but nothing is ever impossible to come back from nothing is ever impossible to come back from if both parties are willing to make it work are willing to work on it and in this case, I'm the only one willing to work on it. And I have to come to terms with that fact. And another fact that I have to come to terms with is she's the one who initiated the breakup because she found someone else. She found someone new. So I can't be dwelling on the heartbreak and fussing over it because I'm, I love this person who doesn't love me back or doesn't love me as much, you know. Uh, yeah, man. And, Right now, I find myself in this awkward position, barely in that lot like, hey, I'm a bit confused, I'm a bit lost, I didn't know myself, and I'm trying to find myself, and I'm trying to make things work for me, trying to find my happiness. Because I can't be here making this worse noise to myself about my heartbreak, while the person who did break my heart is out there happy, you know, finally out on a day, then having fun, and having the time of her life. Uh, so, I would, be do, I, would, I would be doing me injustice if I don't pick myself up and, 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 and heal and move, you know, because really I cannot move without healing, so I need to heal first. So I'm in that process right now, healing. I wish things were different, but it is what it is. We're here now and there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, man, and that's my story. But then again, we all make mistakes because we are all human. I too make mistakes and I would expect people to give me second chances so we can't be holding people's mistakes against them, you know, and then defining who they are based on those mistakes. We cannot. Uh, note to self. Looney!